words don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. Now I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Me, I fall in love with you every single day And I just want to tell you I am So honey, now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now, loud Baby, we found love right where we are Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Thinking Out Loud by the brilliant Ed Sheeran. This is a beautiful song. Really pretty simple chords, a really interesting rhythm pattern, a little bit of finger style. We're playing some bass notes, a little muted hit on the backbeat. Lots of fun. Let's get to a close-up and check out how to play it. So this is the main chord sequence here. It's relatively simple. We start with a D chord. Then we go to a D with an F sharp bass. So we move first finger over to the second fret of the thicker string, second finger in the second fret of the third string, and third finger staying where it was for the D chord in the third fret of the second string. We're not playing the thinnest string for that chord. Okay, then we go to a G chord. Now, we only need those two fingers, so second finger in the third fret of the thicker string. That's also muting the fifth string, although we won't be playing it anyway, probably. Third finger staying where it was for the D chord, that's the third fret of the second string. And again, we're not playing the thinner string. In fact, I'm muting it with the underneath of my third finger there. That's the G. And then we're going to a little A chord, A major chord, not playing the thinner string. So if you're using a first finger bar, just kind of lift your finger forward a bit to make sure that thinner string is muted. Although we're probably just not going to play it as well because we normally play this sequence finger style. So that's the most basic version. It's just D, D with an F sharp bass, to G, to A. Okay, now there's a couple little variations that happen. First of all on the D, so that'll hammer on with the first finger for the very first D chord. Now usually, to be honest, I'm not playing the thinnest string, so I don't need my second finger down. Third finger is laying slightly flatter than normal to, in order to deliberately mute the thinnest string. And I'd just play actually the fourth string, third string, and second string anyway. But uh, we'll have a look at the finger style part in just a second. So you get a little hammer on there. D with the F sharp bass, G. A, and then there's this little hammer on here from the second fret of the third string, putting the third finger down as a hammer on in the fourth fret of the third string. So D, G with an F sharp bass, G, A, and just got that nice little hammer on. Now it's important to get the rhythm of this right as well. So it's one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay, let's have a look at that rhythm hand. Okay, so that's the way that we're playing the rhythm. We're starting off with a chord, thumb playing the fourth string, first finger playing the third string, and second finger playing the second string. And then that's on beat one. One, 
to and. Now we've got a little muted hit. Now, when he's playing acoustic guitar, it kind of accentuates that a little bit. We want to make sure that we're muting the strings with the chord hand, and then we're just strumming down with all of the fingers together on the strings, okay? But we also have to prep them for the next chord. So one, two, and. You can see that when I'm moving the fingers down, they're automatically ready to play that second chord, which is the D with the F sharp bass, thumb playing the thicker string, first finger playing the fourth string, second finger playing the third string, and third finger playing the second string. Okay, so one, two, and three, four. And there's another hit on two and four, so it's, that, it's called playing the backbeat. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And then I'm just using, I'm using my second finger, but it wouldn't really matter which string you want to pluck the third string for the little hammer on. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So I recommend that you start off with this really straight pattern, just this one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. But what you're going to find is that you're going to put in some extra bass notes with the thumb, but it's really hard to describe exactly where they happen because it happens kind of differently every time. So, you know, if you just watch, if I just play it for real. really once you get the feel of it and mainly you're sticking with that backbeat you know that's the big deal is trying to keep that and note as well that that little hammer-on gets lost as well once it gets to the chorus it just stays on the A here A there's none of that little hammer-on stuff going on so let's run through that now one more time so we got D with an F sharp bass, G to A, D. When your legs don't work like they G to an A, D. And I F sharp bass to a G to an A, D. Will your F sharp bass still a G to an A, D. With an F sharp bass to the G, A, and darling D. With an F sharp bass, we'll be loving G. A to S seven T D. F sharp bass, G A. And baby, my heart could fall as ass hard at twenty three. With an F sharp bass, still G to A. And now we're into the next part. E minor falls in love in an A to a D. E minor, a touch of an A. E minor falls in love with you, A to B minor. A minor, wanna tell you I A. Okay, now you can either play an A chord like this using fingers two, three, and four. You could use a traditional A. I'm pretty sure Ed Sheeran just uses a first finger bar there. So, so let's run through those chords for the pre-chorus. It's starting with the same chord sequence. So, and darling, I, with an F sharp bass, we love in G, to A, to S, 70, then D with an F sharp bass, G to A, and the same thing again. And baby, my, with an F sharp bass, we love in G, to A at 23D with an F sharp bass and thinking about G how that's the A chord then E minor for a whole bar then A to a D E minor a touch of an A two three four E minor wanna fall in love with you A to B minor E minor for a bar then to A, one and two and three, honey now. Okay, it's very, very simple. Whole bar of E minor, A to D. E minor to a whole bar of A. E minor, 
A to B minor. Okay, B minor if you're struggling with that one, it's a bar chord. Second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, third fret, second fret. E minor. And on the A, the last one, one and two and three, four. And then we're into the chorus. Now the chorus again is D, D with an F sharp bass, G, A, loving arms, D with an F sharp bass, G to A. Smells a lot of a D to F sharp bass, G, in and under my beat and D. I'm thinking about G to A. Then we've got this fast chord change sequence. Okay, so that little fast part at the end, B minor, A, G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor, A, D. Again, B minor, A, G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor, A, D. A, G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor, A, D. I should point out as well that some of the A chords sound to me like A7 chords when he's playing it live on the acoustic. I'm sure I can hear the A7 note in there. So, you know, just using two fingers, you could use whatever two fingers you like, really, as long as it's second fret on the fourth string, open third string, second fret on the second string. That part, you know, people fall in love in an A7 to D. E minor going to A7. So you could do either. You could do regular A or A7. Whatever, you know, have a listen to it and see what one you think sounds really good. So let's just have a look at the uh, strumming hand there for the uh, pre chorus as well, just to make sure that you're all kind of hip with that. So we're starting off with uh, D. Loving you till we're 70. Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways, even with the touch of a hand. with you every single day me just want to tell you I am honey now take me into your loving arms kiss me under the light of a thousand stars place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking about love, baby. We found love right where we are. Okay, just that last part. We're just using the thumb and the fingers as a little block all together. Thumb is go the fingers will stay the same, but thumb will stay on the fifth string for the B minor, fifth string for the A. But when we move to the G, thumb's going to move over to the thicker string. G, D with an F sharp bass, E minor for the A chord. Thumb's going to move over to the fifth string, and then it's going to move over to the fourth string for the D. Well, I hope you're clear on that one. It is a little bit tricky, the rhythm for this song, and to make it really sit in the pocket. There's some great videos of Ed Sheeran playing it live that you should definitely check out, and there's no substitute for playing along with the original recording. It's in the same key. You don't need capos or anything like that. This is exactly the way he's playing it, so just play, try playing along with it. Make sure you get that groove. Practice the groove by itself. Just, on, just practice that first part. And try and make it feel nice. Try and get the little hits on two and four. I'd spend a bit of time just on that little bit first of all, just to make sure it's really in the pocket and then start playing the rest of the tune. It's got a lovely solo as well and I've um, been debating doing it. If you'd like to see the solo for this song as well, then leave me a comment in the YouTube comments here and uh, I'll do my best if there's enough people that want to check it out. It's not particularly difficult, D major pentatonic -y kind of a thing, very tasty though. So uh, let me know if you fancy seeing that and I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves, bye bye.